Hey guys, what is up? This is Mr. A. Crizzy here. And it's time for a VHS, DVD, and Blu-ray update for September 15th, 2024. As of today, I got one VHS tape and two DVDs, along with four Blu-rays, off of Amazon.com as well as eBay. So with that being said, let's start off by showing you guys the, 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 the one VHS tape that I got from eBay. And it's actually on a Robin Williams film released on Christmas Day of 1998. And, and of course, we know this VHS came out in the year 1999, 25 years ago. And this is a Robin Williams film that... I actually watched this film, like, like I think back in, like... I think it was, like, like, last month in August, I actually watched this film. It's called Patch Adams, based on a true story. It's starring Robin Williams, and it's directed by Tom Shadyak. Also the same director from the, who directed Liar Liar and Bruce Almighty. Oh yeah, and, and, and I think Tom Shadyak, all, he also directed The Nutty Professor as well. So, yep, this is Patch Adams. Read a PG-13. And the runtime is about... Hold on. Um... Well, let's just say, yeah, I already said the movie's rated PG-13, so the movie also stars Philip Seymour Hoffman and Peter Coyote, among others. Oh, yeah, and, and also what, what's, what's also interesting but also sad at the same time is that, is that Robin Williams and Philip Seymour Hoffman both passed away the same year 10 years ago, 2020, excuse me, 2014. Yeah, it's, it yeah, it still hurts to this day, even after ten years since since we had since we we since Robin Williams and Philip Seymour Hoffman are no longer with us. Yeah, rest in peace to both of them, Robin Williams and Philip Seymour Hoffman. Oh yeah, and as as when I was watching Patch Adams, I also noticed M Michael Jeter's in the film too. Yeah, Michael Jeter, who played Mr. Noodle's brother, Mr. Noodle, and and of course Polar Express was dedicated to his memory. Rest in peace, Michael Jeter. Oh yeah, and I also found the runtime as well. The runtime is about an hour and fifty six minutes. Yeah, I, I, I didn't even notice until now that the runtime's on top here. Yeah. So yeah, I, I I I think Patch Adams I thought was a pretty good movie with Robin Williams. Yeah, Robin Williams I thought I thought is is really good in the film. So that's Patch Adams. Pretty good find. And now on with the DVDs. The first DVD I got is the new the new Sonic TV miniseries on Paramount Plus, and now it's out on physical media, and it's called Knuckles. Includes special features and exclusive gag reel. I watched this show on Paramount Plus when when it first when it first came out, and. I think I think Knuckles is a pretty good show in my opinion. Although although people's flaws they have with the, with with the show is basically that it focuses more on the humans rather than Knuckles himself. I mean, Idris Elba is still is still awesome as Knuckles uh, regardless. The show is not rated, and the runtime for all the episodes is about 170 minutes, from Paramount Pictures and Paramount Plus. And the special features include gag reel, cast featurette, working with Knuckles, this or that, and Knuckles impressions. And yeah, and the special features are, are available to, to view on disc two. And I'll get to that in, right now, in, in a second. First three episodes, and the last four episodes. Well, actually, no, last three episodes, and then, yes. And like I said, special features are available on disc two. Which, that kind of almost reminds me of how, of how old Pixar movies used, used to be like that. Where, where, where even, even old DVDs, even old animated DVDs have, have the special features available on disc two. Which is pretty cool. 
So that's Knuckles. And the second DVD I got is the 2006 movie, Little Miss Sunshine. Starring Greg Kinner, Steve Corral, Tony Collette, Paul, Paul Dano, with Abigail Breslin and Alan Arkin. Yeah, Little Miss Sunshine is definitely a, a really amazing film. And yeah, definitely one of the best films that came out in 2006. Rated R. And the runtime is 103 minutes. This disc is side B. And let's see if I can, like... Yeah, the only disc it includes is side B, but that's okay. So that's Little Miss Sunshine. If any of you guys out there have not seen this movie yet, then I highly recommend it. So that's Little Miss Sunshine. And that's going to be it for the DVDs. So now on with the Blu-rays. The first Blu-ray I got from Amazon recently is the new Pixar movie, Inside Out 2. Rated PG, and the runtime is 96 minutes. Directed by Kelsey Mann, with, with, with original score by Adriana Datsman. With additional music and produced by Michael Giacchino, even though he wasn't really the one who did the music to the sequel. It was actually Adriana Datsman. Adriana Datsman is actually, is actually a frequent collaborator of Michael Giacchino. Executive producers Pete Docter, Jonas Rivia, and Dan Skellen. Yep, Dan Skellen, who directed Monsters University and Onward. And Pete, and of course, one of the executive producers, Pete Docter, who directed the first Inside Out. Yeah, I I went and saw Inside Out too on, on during for a Thursday preview screening at, at one of at one one of my local movie theaters at Ocean City, Maryland. When when I went when I went there for for Father's Day, I actually went and saw Inside Out two with my best friend Gian Miller, and I thought Inside Out two I think I think is a great sequel. My parents even liked the film too when when they went and saw the film at, at my local cinema while I was working at the time. And yeah, and it's and it's actually hard to believe that well. Well, not really hard to believe, but but it's but it's but it's actually true that Inside Out Two is now officially the highest grossing animated film of all time, the number one highest grossing animated film. Yeah, because and and now the Lion King remake is number two, and yeah, and I think Inside Out Two is definitely well well deserved for crossing a billion crossing over a billion dollars. Yeah, it's really awesome, and I also really liked my my Maya Hawk's anxiety character. Like I also really liked anxiety as well. But you, but you 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 want to know who who my other who my most favorite character from Inside Out Two is? I gotta say, like, well, I mean, I kind of already said this before, but some of you guys, in case some of you guys didn't know, my 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 most favorite character from Inside Out Two is definitely Bluffy, like Bluffy, who's like the the purple cartoon dog who acts like Mickey Mouse and Dora the Explorer and all that in a way, because yeah, Bluffy was was just so hilarious, and and of course he also has like a pouch named Pouchy. And 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 that and that's what it, that's and that's what it kind of reminded me of because when because when they call when they when because when they're like everybody say oh pouchy oh pouchy like like that 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 literally reminded me of Mickey Mouse Clubhouse everybody say oh toodles oh toodles <laughs> they see that's what it kind of reminded me of because because Mickey Mouse Clubhouse might not be my I may not be a fan of that show anymore. But hey, at least that was a good connection that Pixar made in, in this film. Cause yeah, I because I, I I just love Bluffy and Pouchy. Yeah. Um, definitely the best characters in Inside Out Two, and and yeah, and this and Inside Out Two is also coming to Disney Plus on, on September twenty fifth. 
And yes, I also looked up the DVD for this film, and what even though Sony Pictures Home Entertainment's taking over the home video rights to, to Disney films these days, but I actually looked on the DVD release of Inside Out 2, Disney's Fast Play is still a thing. Yeah, because I, I think Disney's Fast Play will never, ever die out anytime soon. Like, you know who what I'm talking about. This Disney DVD is enhanced with Disney's Fast Play. Your movie and a selection of bonus features will begin automatically. To bypass Fast Play, select the main menu button at any time. Fast Play will begin in a moment. Yeah, like, the, the last Disney DVD that used Fast Play was, was the, the movie Wish. But if there's no bonus features on the on the DVD release of Wish, then why why not have Disney why not then why have Disney's Fast Play on there? Because why have Disney's Fast Play on the DVD release of Wish if there's no bonus features? Well, the bonus features are the bonus features nowadays are are now available on Blu-rays and 4Ks. Like the Blu-ray release of Wish and do, and does include the hundredth anniversary crossover short Once Upon a Studio, but yeah. But aside from all that. Inside Out Two is a great sequel, and if and if you guys have, have and if you guys miss, if 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 some of you guys out there missed out on this, then I highly recommend it. So that's Inside Out Two. Next Blu-ray we got here is the Amy Winehouse biopic Back to Black. Rated R. The runtime is about two hours and three minutes. Yeah. Despite the mixed and negative reviews from critics, I kind of liked Back to Black. Although I will say the A24 documentary film Amy, I think, is better. But th this was still a, a pretty fine movie, in my opinion. Back to Black. Next up, we got we got a horror movie that that came out, and 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 this movie and this movie is called The First Omen. The First Omen is actually like a like a it's actually like like a almost like like that. <clears throat> excuse me. Let me just say, The First Omen is actually part part of the part of the horror franchise called The Omen, which I actually watched the original Omen before watching this film, and I think The Omen I think is a great horror film in my opinion. I think it's a great horror flick, and this I think is also great too. The First Omen. I, I didn't get to see this movie in theaters because I was meeting Bluey at, at Sunday brunch with my parents. So that's why I didn't see the first Omen until I watched it on Hulu. But overall, I think the first Omen, I think, I think is a great film in my opinion. And also one of my, one of my favorite horror films that came out this year as well. Rated R and the runtime is 119 minutes. And you know, you can also see right here. Sony Pictures Home Entertainment. This was actually the first Disney-owned property home video, physical media release to, to be taken over by Sony Pictures Home Entertainment. Even though the, the logo itself is not really shown at the beginning, because because if the Sony Pictures Home Entertainment logo would be shown at the beginning, that would be pretty odd for, for, for Disney releases or 20th Century Fox Studios releases. So yeah, if you're a horror movie fan and if you haven't seen the first Omen, then I recommend it. And plus, spooky season, Halloween season's coming up, so I, I bet this is a good movie to watch for Halloween. So that's the first Omen, and the last Blu-ray I got for today's physical media update is Monkey Man, from director De like from director De Dev Patel and from producer Jordan Peele. I watched Monkey Man on Peacock, and I, I gotta say, but Monkey Man I thought was great. E even if it kind of feels like one of those John Wick wannabes. Rated R. Yeah. And just like the first Omen, I, I never saw Monkey Man in theaters, cause, because like I said, I was, meeting Blue I was meeting Bluey at Sunday brunch with my parents, which, which I thought was a, it was a good time. But yeah, and like I said, I, I watched Monkey Man on Peacock, and I, and I, and I liked it. 
from Jordan Peele's company, Monkey Paw Productions. And there you have it, guys. Monkey Man. I, and also, I also really, I also like, li I also liked how on, how on Letterbox, which is an app for, for reviewing movies, I also like how on, on the Letterbox app, both both posters for the first Omen and Monkey Man are both the colors black and red, which I think is pretty cool. Yeah, pretty cool to match them together. And there you have it, guys. That's gonna be it for, for that's gonna be it for this VHS DVD and Blu-ray update for September fifteenth, twenty twenty-four. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you're not subscribed yet, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And also make sure to like this video as well. With that being said, until next time, this is Mr. A Crazy saying goodbye, everybody, and that's about it.